Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. We're back again. It's a Thursday and we actually missed the uh, well when they opened it and we knew that there was going to be a yard sale up the mountain out of town and it started yesterday, Wednesday. <laughs> we ran into a friend of ours at the um, store yesterday and he said, man, did you get up there to that uh, um, yard sale? And I wanted to throw myself on the ground <laughs> because forgot. I forgot about it. So anyway, so we ran up there this morning and picked up the kids and stuff. Ran up there this morning and lo and behold, there was not only one, but there was three. And um, probably going back for a big water tank at one, man. A big old storage water tank I can catch rainwater in. Anyway, I thought I'd go over and see up here, man, in the Idaho mountains, man. We don't care what day it is. Those mm. hillbillies, man. We'll have a yard sale any day we want. Yeah. The best yard sale I ever had was on a Tuesday. So anyway, I thought I'd show you uh, what we got. First of all, made Miss Kitty so happy. This thing is in, man, the inside, I'm not going to pull it apart, but man, the inside is so clean. And I believe that, uh, what you can tell, that it's a little bit, of, you know, it's an older one. Works excellent. Um, and I think new, these ones are selling for what, about 300 bucks? I this think size. so, about that size, yeah. So this just makes us ecstatic because now I can take the big one that I have and use it out when I'm doing knives and out in the cookhouse. And this one's, I'm actually going to take the, uh, um, look at that rye bread there. Looks like this awesome rye bread, man. It's amazing. But, uh, um, I say, oh, but I'm going to take the window, the stained glass window out of the bag and put this one through the window. All I got to do is add the little water thing. So I put it here to um, work, on, work it. on it. And Miss Kitty's all, you got to show that stuff. So I'm going to go over the few other things. I got this great little uh, ultralight Shakespeare reel, man. It's Smoking little, uh, smoking little reel, man. Ultralight. And this awesome cup. <laughs> that, uh, it's actually Miss, or, uh, Katie Joe's. But if I'd have seen it, it would have been mine. Man, it's so cool for camping. Man, then you take that off and it pops into the, um, top. A little wine glass or whatever you want to use it for. I did pay it. Sweet. And then, man, we got these given to us, man. Four little pepper plants, jalapeno pepper plants. This was a awesome score, man. Nineteen, uh, I don't know, man. Somewhere in the Todd might know. Yeah, actually, yeah. Todd might know, and then our Grandpa Bones too, mm -hmm. man. That uh, that an old uh, cause it's pipe tobacco, man, with the original pop on tin with the stamp across it. And we looked up uh, the Edgeworth. And the newer ones, and I'm guessing this one's probably 30s or 40s. Um, and the ones with the screw top, they're what, 100 bucks for those things on, was that Etsy or eBay? Both. 80 on eBay, 125 on yeah, Etsy. So I picked that up, and that is that Dura glass. Man, we've got all them glasses from the 20s that. The little jars. Or 20s or 30s mm -hmm. that we have that we sell. So I got those. And then these, man, look at these. These are so amazing. Tom Tom. Yep, little Tom Tom or little uh, native drums, man, and they're actually made just like a drum, you know, with the uh, leather and the wood. Is that leather, Miss Kitty? It's not leather. What is it? Tell me. It's rawhide. Well, it's rawhide. rawhide. <laughs> it's actually buckskin. That, but that's yeah. Off. It's this. They come from the same product. You know, I'm thinking I need to put Miss Kitty in front of this camera. <laughs> She's giving me the look you're again. Doing just nah. fine. But anyway, and then fine. it's tied with sinew and stuff, but real like a drum. And then it's got the little plugs, which I haven't pulled them out yet. I guess they're good. Oh, yeah, just like that. Look at that, dude. That's so cool to fill them. Little mm -hmm. salt and pepper shakers. They're so cool. I love them. I love them. And then we got Miss Kitty found these couple of, nothing spectacular, man, but they're actually a quality, they're made in Hong Kong. Which that right there tells you, you know, because we haven't done the imported Hong Kong stuff for a while. But man, they're just a quality. You know, it's plastic handles and stuff, and then it says uh, Intermountain Lock on it. Stainless. Denver, Colorado. So these, man, I'm going to check them out, but these are ones, man, you throw these in your jockey box just in case. Emergency, man, with a quality knife. That or I give them to, you know, when a kid turns six. All kids should have their first pot, the first knife at six years old. 
I think mine had them at all, three. All well disciplined children. Yeah, well disciplined children. You probably don't want to give much city yes. kids. Yes. 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 All right, and they got this killer uh, Marbrill uh, money clip. I didn't see that. That's cool. The Marbrill man. That was pretty cool. And then, the, well, I guess I don't want to do that right now. Well, I guess I can. This is actually, it's one of my knives, or our knives. And what I did is uh, pop the handles off and, uh, you know, made the handles. It's got kind of a cool little one there, but this would be a uh, forger, but this is a Case XX, and the tip, they'd used it as a screwdriver or whatever. So what I ended up doing was reworking the end, you know, obviously shortening it up quite a bit, and I'll actually use the blade for uh, some other ones, and then, as it turns out, man, you know, you got to be real. I had to be real careful not to mess up the markings in the case XX. So I worked it lightly, you know, and put the finger guard and everything like that. And then uh, treated it and uh, put new handles on it. And there she is. So that's a good foraging or kitchen uh, paring knife. Very nice one. I was really worried Miss Kitty was going to commandeer that one. <laughs> then we got nice, man. Nice little coma. Fly fishing reel, a little Sierra S5 slash 6. This one I uh, actually, Kevin D brought this. I don't really know how it ended up out here, but he brought that to sell and I kind of uh, doubled his money on it to keep it for myself. So I don't know if I'll end up selling that one. And then, I don't know why this is here because I got it. I was going to give this to Earl. Good stash thing. But anyway, another one of the. Was that 1950s, 50s or yeah, 60s? Yeah, in there somewhere. Bar glass holder. We saw How that other you? one we had. No, no. no uh -uh. Not yet. It's a little bit different. The other one is a double handle on each end, where this oh, is a single okay. handle. So for bar glasses. And then I picked up this. This is full of a bunch of just miscellaneous uh, tackle that I'll pull out and use for myself. But you can see it's a Mountain Dew uh, cooler bag. So I picked that yeah, I need up. Yeah, to clean that up. Got some yeah, I gotta clean it up. Stuff, but it was, yeah, the price was right, and the fish and stuff was worth more than the price they wanted for it all. And then I got a. Uh oh, is that the tools? No. Got it. Yeah. Oh. This is a. Uh, the glass is missing. Obviously broke. I need to be tighten, tighten this thing up. But this is one, and I've got another one just like it. But this is a dual fuel. You can actually use unleaded fuel in this. Man, these are pretty. Uh, Pretty good uh, Coleman Landers. I got that and it came in the case and everything. So that I'll probably put on, but I'll probably just sell it without the glass. Uh, Makes for easier We've shooting. had so many issues with, oops, so many issues with uh, the old glass getting broke. Or at least people saying the glass was broke. But, man, we sell a uh, so a lot of Coleman lanterns have for years and years and years. What else I got up here? Is that it? I think so. No oh, man. So I mean, not too bad a haul for the for a Thursday. We'll be back out tomorrow. And uh, right now I'm getting ready to work on the swamp cooler because this just makes me happy, happy, happy. This old beater one that I got, man, she keeps going. She's like the Energizer Bunny, man. But good Lord willing and. Cricks don't rise. We'll be back again real soon.